Lack of order creates crisis. Lack of order creates crisis. Order is stores peace. Now for a long season, Israel without, was without a true God, without a teaching priest, and without law. And when they're in their trouble, you always get into trouble. When there is no order, you get into trouble easy. You get into trouble naturally, just natural sequence. Amen. <laughs> there was no peace on him that went out, not to him that came in, but great vexation upon all the inhabitants of the earth. Nation was destroyed of nation. Because there was no law, there was no order set. No order was set, so crisis is permitted. You open the door to crisis when there's no order. You give place to the devil to have a feed when there's no order. It's so important, it's so vital to recognize the place of order and then get committed to installing it. Get committed to installing it. Get committed to installing it. And you set order for a building from the foundation. Yes. So if in the time of the founder there is no order, it is lost. Yes, yes. Forget it. Forget yes. it. They will tell the people coming that you, when uh, our father was here, there was no sort of thing. You can come to church anytime you want. It is lost. You don't renovate a foundation. You don't renovate a, you don't renovate a foundation. Don't stop wasting your energy. You don't put it there now. It won't be there forever. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. You should know you are running for time. Yeah. <laughs> you are running. I mean, you are running for time. Yeah. You don't install it now. It's gone forever. It is at the foundation to determine what the building will look like. Yeah. It's not in the middle. No, at the foundation. So if the founders fail, in their time to put that in place, forget it. The organization is gone. The organization is gone. I think we can close this meeting and just go. So I can go and work on it. This is a workshop material. <laughs> go and work on it. You don't get it done, it's lost. It's lost forever. You can't see who to trust. Nobody will trust the organization tomorrow. Nobody will. Who are you forgot to trust you in the first instance? And who am I? And now you are such an expert, you can't trust anybody. Can you imagine you are the one, the preacher, and you are the usher? Uh, you get what I'm saying? Hmm? You are the hospitality person. The same you. So when somebody disappears and says, excuse me, please. You're welcome. <laughs> then I come back and say, I just went to welcome somebody. <laughs> they say, Roni, yeah, yeah. What kind of yeah, yeah, man? <laughs> My God. Order. 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 Yes. Is the mother of peace. The mother of progress is a fountain of the future. Order. Order. You know, where well, we've never had any issue with what to eat, what to drink, it's planned. So it's not that we are deciding it later. No, no. You enter into a year. Um, Domestic affairs, uh, disorder affairs, order, offering affairs. <laughs> so it's not I'm deciding what to do when I get to the place now. It's already sorted. That when I appear before the Lord who made me, my, my, I appear before my Savior, this is the least that must, I must appear with. Whether the church is now five or ten, it doesn't matter. Order, 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 order.
my wife also believes, you know, she believes very seriously in order because I've never been asked to add anything to what was planned. Yes. From the one to tomorrow. Amen. Set order. I never bought a pair of shoes in my life for any child. How? That will go to a shop and say, how much are you selling? No. Sometimes it's not part of my agenda. Or stop on the way and buy bread. So who will buy the people who are making where I live? <laughs> Don't introduce market disorder. The people baking bread in my place can't tell me how long those will consume. <laughs> and I carry from somewhere else there. No. It will disturb their sales. <laughs> well, praise the Lord. 